Hello guys, Silver Trite here is showing a review of one over one four four no or non grade mobile flat from Tarn A Gondo. Yeah, so this model kit was released in the year 1999 by Bandai. Yan, so itong mobile suit, mobile flat na nakikita nyo sa video is isa to sa mga mobile suits na minanufacture ng Moonrace sa series na Turn A Gundam. And itong mobile flat na to, marami nang nag-pilot nitong mobile flat na to sa series ng Turn A Gundam. So, una na doon is si Loran na pilot ng Turn A Gundam Second is si Fran. And last is si Keith. Na makikita nyo sa manual ng model na to. Sa 1 over 1 for, for no or non grade mobile suit mobile flat. So in this video, we're going to discuss about this model. Kung ano yung mga gimmicks and articulations na kaya niyang i-offer. And also pag-uusapan natin if this model kit is worth it to collect. For the packaging of this model, so makikita mo sa harap yung picture ng Mobile Suit Mobile Flat. Next naman is yung Cold Turn A Gundam logo, yung name ng model, statistics about this Mobile Suit, and Bandai logo. So pagating naman sa upper right side ng packaging na to, may nakalagay na illustrated by. So itong packaging na nakikita nyo sa video was illustrated by Atsushi Shigeta. Pagating naman sa upper and lower side ng packaging ng model ito, makikita nyo yung picture ng Mobile Suit Mobile Flat, yung Cold Turn A Gundam logo, yung name ng model, statistics about this Mobile Suit, and Bandai logo. So, pagating sa series number 2, siya ang pangalawa na nilabas na 1 over 144 no or non grade category sa Cold Turn A Gundam series. Sa other side ng packaging ng model na to, makikita niyo yung itsura ng model kapag buo na siya. Also, makikita niyo rin yung Colter na Gundam logo, yung name ng model, and yung statistics about this mobile suit. And last, sa side ng packaging na to, makikita niyo yung articulations, accessories, and gimmicks na na offer ng model na to. Ngayon na uh, naipakita ko na yung packaging ng model na to, bali next ko naman ipapakita is yung itsura ng model kapag buo na siya. So tara, let's fast forward and proceed. Yan, bali yung itsura ng 1 over 144 no or non grade mobile suit mobile flat kapag buo na siya. So kapag tinignan mo contents ng model na to, ang makukuha mong runners is apat na runners para mabuo itong model na to. And if you're talking about details dito sa model na to, kapag tinig na sticker ng model na to, for me, in my own opinion, hindi siya ganoon ka-sticker heavy. And also, if you're a type of a person na ang hinahanap mong detalye is yung napapanood mo sa Cold Turn A Gundam or yung nakikita mo sa box art ng model na to, well, you're gonna have to paint this model para ma-accomplish mo yung details na nakikita mo sa box art or yung napapanood mo na Cold Turn A Gundam na mobile flat. And pagating sa size ng model na to, nung sinukat ko to by the use of tape measure, ang size niya is 5 inches tall itong model na to. So standard naman talaga guys na ang ginagawa ni Bande sa mga 1 over 1 for, for high grade or non grade categories is 5 inches tall ang height. So pagating din sa RG guys kapag nakita nyo rin, talagang 5 inches tall talaga ang standard size na ginagawa ni Bandai. So for this model, good job Bandai for giving this model a better height. For the weapons and accessories of this model, so ang makukuha mo in this model is itong beam rifle na to and itong hand na to. So ang purpose ng hand na to is para mahawakan ni Mobile Flat itong beam rifle na to. So it's the builder's choice in what way nila ipapagamit to sa 1 over 1 for, for no or non grade na Mobile Flat. Lalo na kapag gagawa ka ng posing or gunpla photographies. Next naman ang makukuha mo in this model is itong mga extra polycaps na to and itong mga extra hands na to. So it's the builder's choice then in what way nila ipapagamit to sa mobile flat, especially kapag emergency purposes. So ito yung mga weapons and accessories na kasama 
sa 1 over 144, no or non-grade mobile flat. For the articulations of this model, so kung papakita ko yung bawat pesa in this model kit, it's very obvious from the model itself na okay din yung movements or articulation na nanay-offer ng model ito. Pero since this one is a 90s model kit, there are some parts on this model na hindi ganun ka-flexible yung movements na nanay-offer ng model ito. And kung i-compare natin tong 90s model ito against sa mga makabagong models na nirelease ni Bandai Spirits, yung mga makabago kasi, May mga nilalagay talaga silang mga magagandang polycaps or support parts kaya nakakapag-deliver sila ng mga magandang poses or articulation dun sa mga makabagong models na nilalabas ni Bandai Spirits. Pero dito sa 90s model kit na to, it's different. Kasi kapag tinignan natin tong mobile flat na to, makalumang engineering yung ginamit ni Bandai on this model. So it's very obvious. So kapag tinignan mo rin yung upper body ng mobile flat na to, talagang limited lang yung movements na nayo offer Pero kahit na ganoon na limited yung movements na nayo offer or yung ibang parts is limited lang yung nayo offer still this model is nakakapag-deliver pa rin ng magandang posing. So kung magpapakita ako ng sample na larawan na patunay na kahit na may had lang in this model, still it can deliver? Well, ito yung mga sample picture ko guys, papakita ako. Yan, so yan yung mga picture guys na patunay na kahit na itong makalumang model ito is hindi katulad ng mga makabagong model kits. Still, itong model ito is nakakapag-respond pa na makagawa ng magandang posing itong modelong to. Kaya for those na makakita na itong mobile flat neto sa merkado, still for me in my own opinion, it's uh, best recommended. Lalo na for those na mga magsisimula sa hobby, here in the Filipino community. And when it comes naman sa articulation ng model to, ang rate ko still okay pa rin siya for me na kahit na may had lang dito sa modelong to. And for me, in my own opinion, madali lang naman diskartehan to. So kapag ginawa mo ng better angle itong model to, maganda yung magiging resulta dito sa 1 over 144 no or non-grade mobile flat. Yan, so pinakita ko na yung transformation gimmicks ng model na to. So sa pag-transform ng model na to, hindi ganun kalaki yung time na makukonsumo mo on transforming this model. Actually, segundo lang. And pagating sa pag-transform ng model na to, ang sagot para malaman kung paano i-transform to, well, manual is the key. So doon naka-indicate kung paano ita-transform itong 1 over 144, no or non-grade, mobile flat. And if you're going to ask me, is this model kit worth it to collect? Ang masasabi ko is yes, worth it na worth it itong i-collect. Kasi nung time na nabili ko to sa merkado, nabili ko lang to sa halagang 300 pesos. So sa halagang 300 pesos na modelo, sa 5 inches tall na height niya, and sa gimmicks na nai-offer ng model na to, ano pa ba mga hanapin mo in this model? Kaya for those builders or collectors na naghahanap netong model na to, ito ang masasabi ko. If you have this 1 over 144 no or non-grade mobile flat in your collection, it will be a great addition sa iyong Gumpla Collection. Asti! So that's it. Um, I hope na this review is nakatulong sa inyo in your hobby needs. For more updates, and reviews, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Verge Kevin Amali, and also like my Facebook page, So Verge Toys and Gunpla Family, para maging updated kayo sa mga susunod ko pang gagawing toys or gunpla reviews. Kaya hanggang dito na lang tayo guys. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanood. Happy building to all, and God bless. Let's share the joys of gunpla to the community. See you next time.